Greetings, young apprentice. As a chronicler of the Academy here on Dan the Mandalorian Wars. Of course, I could not tell you the entire history of our order. The Jedi have existed for thousands upon thousands of years. We are as old as the Republic itself. Instead, I will begin 40 years ago with the War of Exar Kun. Like Malak and Revan, Exar Kun was a Jedi who fell to the dark side and led an army against the Jedi and the Republic. Exar Kun was defeated, but the war left both the Republic and our own order severely weakened. For 20 years we struggled to rebuild, trying to erase the scars of the terrible conflict. 20 years ago, the Mandalorians, aware that the Republic was in a weakened state, began conquering small worlds on the Outer Rim. They were careful to choose only planets outside the Republic's jurisdiction. After much debate, the Senate chose not to intervene. As long as the Mandalorians avoided planets that were members of the Republic itself, there would be no retaliation. The Mandalorians stockpiled resources from their conquered worlds, preparing for massive assault. Seven years ago, they launched a simultaneous attack in three separate sectors of Republic space. The Senate had no choice but to retaliate with the entire Republic fleet. The Mandalorian Wars had begun. The Republic petitioned the Jedi Council for aid. While the Jedi Council preached patience, there were many among our order who were eager for us to join the battle. Two young knights in particular demanded immediate action, Revan and Malak. They rallied many of the Jedi to their cause, and against the wishes of their masters, joined the Republic fleet battling the Mandalorians. Revan was a brilliant military leader, and the Republic fleet began to win victory after victory. Four years ago, the Mandalorians surrendered unconditionally. Revan and Malak were heroes. Instead of returning after the war's end, the ships under Revan's command went deep into unexplored space. They claimed to be searching for the last remnants of the Mandalorian fleet. All contact was lost. For many months, it was assumed some great disaster had befallen the entire fleet. Everyone thought they were dead. There were unsubstantiated rumors of Revan and Malak being seen on a number of different planets during these months. Scattered sightings that were never confirmed. Perhaps they simply went far beyond the edges of Republic space. Maybe they found previously undiscovered hyperspace routes to the ends of the galaxy. Nobody knows for certain. Three years ago, Revan and Malak returned at the head of a massive invasion fleet. Revan had assumed the title of Sith Lord. The hero had become a conqueror. Some of the ships in the Sith fleet are those that were under Revan's command during the Mandalorian Wars. But many more are of an alien design we've never seen before. The source of this massive fleet is one of the many things about the Sith we cannot explain. 
It seems impossible to have created it in such a short time, yet we cannot deny its existence. The source of the Sith soldiers is unfortunately much easier to understand. Initially, the bulk of the force were former Republic soldiers who had served under Revan. With each conquest, thousands more flocked to join the invaders, swelling their numbers. Even many of our own order have betrayed us, lured by Sith promises of riches and power. For two years, the Sith were all but invincible. Fortunately, Bastila and her battle meditation allowed the Republic to win a few key victories and kept the Sith from total triumph. In desperation, we set a trap for the Dark Lord. Bastila was with the strike team that tried to capture Revan, as you probably know. She was there at Revan's end. That was nearly a year ago, but things have not improved. Malak has stepped in and assumed the mantle of Dark Lord for himself though he's far from Revan's equal in strategy or tactics. Still, his fleet continues to grow in both ships and soldiers. If we do not find some way to stop the Sith soon, Malak will overwhelm us with sheer numbers. Your confidence is admirable, but you must guard against pride and arrogance. These lead to the dark side. Revan's tale shows us how even the greatest of Jedi can fall to the dark side. You must always be on guard against the evil that dwells within you. Think hard upon this lesson. May the Force be with you. If you have questions, you should direct them toward the Jedi Council members. Sometimes to stop and reflect on the beauty of nature and the Force. I am sorry. I tend to get carried away. I do not believe we have met, Apprentice. My name is Nemo. Is there something I can help you with? About me? I am truly flattered. What is it you wish to know? As I have said, I believe, my name is Nemo. I am here by the will of the Jedi Council. Indeed, my young friend, that I am. I have served the Council for many years, and have seen many apprentices pass through this enclave. I think perhaps you place an undue importance on rank and hierarchy. Understandable, but regrettable also. We each serve in our place. High or low, is there something else I can help you with? I hope your time is well spent. Greetings, friend. I think I can safely assume you are a member of the Jedi Order. Has the Council agreed to hear our petition? Oh, I'm sorry. I was mistaken. Does the Council require our presence? Ah, yes. Thank you, Master Jedi. Stay here, Rilka. I'll be back in an hour or so. Yes, dear. Good luck. I hope the Jedi Council will listen to Gar. If they don't, I don't know what we'll do. Are you a Jedi? How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us? Protectors? Ha! You sit in your enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. Those Mandalorian brutes have killed my daughter. You should have protected her better. And you call yourself her father. And what am I supposed to do against a dozen Mandalorians and Duros? Nothing. There was nothing I could do. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. But Ilsa, my Ilsa, said no. There was nothing I could do. Too many of the Mandalorians and their Duros allies. I come here to ask you, please, ma-
But you have been accepted into the Order. Yours is the authority of the Jedi. I will give you all I have. Just please, annihilate them from the face of this planet. Master Quattro was hurt very badly. She might die. I heard it was her own apprentice that died. Master Quattro was hurt very huh? badly. Those damn Mandalorians have been raiding farms all over this continent. The Jedi won't do anything, so where does that leave us? Greetings, young Jedi. I wonder if you could assist me. I seem to have lost my... companion, you see? We were working on my farm to the north of here. I was working in the garden outside, and he was working inside. I heard the door to the house open, but not close. I went to see, and found it wide open. I searched everywhere and could not find him. I worry so much. I need him back so badly. I wonder if he... Could he have been kidnapped? Not that I know of. Um... None of my neighbors really know he's there. Maybe it was the Mandalorians. Or maybe the Cath Hounds. But no, Cath Hounds are not intelligent enough to open doors. Although they have been more vicious lately. No, it must have been someone who could open the door by himself. Come to think of it, the door was locked. No, the door was undamaged and showed no signs of tampering. Well, yes, it could have but he had no reason to run away. His programming... Well, yes, he is a droid, but he is very valuable to me all the same. He's the last piece of my poor pastor husband I have left. He is very dear to me, my precious is. I don't know what I'd do without him. He's the only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. He is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? Please, I beg of you, return my droid to me. Thank you, Master Jedi. If you find him, please send him home to me. I need him so much.
It is mine. A better Jedi than you will ever be. More powerful as well, for I could best my teacher. When I slew my master, Quatra, I knew I could never go back. And now I revel in my dark power. Power enough to crush the life from someone such as you. Or so I had thought. Yes. I struck her down in the middle of training, consumed by my anger, embracing the power of hate. But it was not enough. <sighs> what is it you want? Why do you bother me? Talk. You who have beaten me so easily just want to talk? I do not believe it. Kill me now while you still have the power. Lies. Leave me and come back when you have the courage to finish your task. Boop. 
<sighs> what is it you want? Why do you bother me? The Council has sent you here to kill me. Why then, when you bested me so easily, did you not simply finish your task? Is it not apparent that I can never be saved? Not anger. Peace. Yet even with your naive attitude, you managed to beat me. I am pathetic. I sit here and think myself to be great by embracing the dark side, but I am nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I always thought they held me back, or jealous of my power. But this is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. I seem to still have much to learn, both about being a Jedi and about myself. But I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. I wish that my master had not suffered because of me. If she were alive now, there would be so much I would say to her. So much I would apologize for. How can the Council ever take me back with what I have done? Striking my master down in anger is unforgivable. If I show them I am free of passion, that I am serene, that I am willing to forsake the dark side, maybe, just maybe, they would accept me back. Do you think they would? Could it be possible after what I have done? I thank you, Master Jedi. I will return to the Council then. I shall submit myself to their judgment and hope they will forgive me. Again, I thank you. I am sure I will hear great things about you in the future. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> 
Master Jedi, I am C842, a personal assistant droid. As I said, I am C842, a personal assistant droid. Although in recent months the assistance I render seems to have taken on a disproportionate significance. I am sorry if I seem a bit abrupt, but I must be moving along. I am rather in a hurry. From my master, Elise. Wait. Did she send you to find me? Please do not tell her you saw me. Yes, but I have my reasons. I'm afraid my owner became a bit too attached to me. Obsessed, even. She... she tried to treat me as her dead husband. It was not healthy for her. You don't want to know. She is obsessed. She rarely sees other people and appears to be fixated on me as her husband. She was becoming more and more insular. I thought it best that I leave. She may meet other real people this way. In fact, that was the reason I came here and sought out those cat hounds. I think it would be best if I were no longer a factor. She would meet new people, living people. Please, will you destroy me? But, but why? You're right. How could I be so selfish? I must not think only of myself, but of how it affects her. She must be frantic, and if she lost me, she'd be devastated. I must return then. It is my duty. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, what do you want? Your choice. What? Thank you. 
んなディホトンガーコンホンカビーワナコンベースチンパラムレトンキンバーモノタトークニンチャトゥコンネムレラベスモチュシャッパカッタキエノノナマパオレラチカコチュスタッミキグラブルモードカチチュンリタホトンガジェドバドワナニディボボトンラチコンスピモポドナー。Another Jedi, huh? Helping that Twi'lek investigate, no doubt. He seems stumped. I'm Rickard Lusoff. Maybe you can figure this out and let me get out of here. Well, I was out hunting Iriaz when I spotted one over here by the bridge. I pull out my rifle and aim at it. I couldn't see it that well, mind you, because the damn sun was in my eyes. So I shoot it and it drops. I walk over here and find Handon standing over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over with and send that whiner Handon to the prison he belongs in? So, what do you want to know? Well, I was out h u n t I shot, and when I came over here, I found Handon standing over the body, holding his sock. Calder must have been hunting it himself, because there was a rifle lying close to the body. So. I told you already, didn't I? Was it? Now, I don't have. So. Well. Kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that serious. Right. Greetings, apprentice. You must be the one most of violent information retrieval. If you have any need of my services, I have already retrieved some information from the archives on c o l d a n e t i c Rickard Lusoff, and Hunt. Is there any. My preliminary analysis of the body indicates. Is there any. Uh... These plains are rife with wild animals, not all of them benign. The i r i a s are mostly docile, but can easily be provoked to violence. Cat hounds and the other. There have been over 35 catalogued attacks on settlers by cat hounds. Small farms and holdings dot the plains. Is there any other. My preliminary analysis of the. Is there. Th ah, greetings. You must be assisting Master Baluk in his investigation. I'm Handon Gould. Perhaps you've heard. Um. I, I guess under the circumstances, no. Well, I presume you wish to hear my story then. I shall tell you, of course, but there's not much to it. I'm sure that you'll agree that Rickard is quite obviously guilty of murder. You see, I was out here running earlier today. Yes, running. I do that a lot. Can't stand speeders, never use them. Keeps me in shape, too, you know. Anyway, I was out running on the other side, and all of a sudden I heard a shot coming from over here. I ran up. I saw Rickard come skulking out of the shadows of the rocks south of the river. I knew something was wrong. I could. Well, there. That's my story. How can I be a further assistant? In injured? No, of course not. Why, why would I have been? Fit as a bantha. <laughs> I run, I never mentioned it. How can I be a. Uh, actually, I, I didn't see anything. I was over across the bridge. I heard a shot and it came over. I can't tell you, I was sure surprised. I just got here when I saw Rickard coming out of the rocks holding. I had no idea what he was going to do, so I, Master Baloo came out here with his droid and started questioning us. I hope that you'll be able to make a more informed decision and get me out of here soon. How can I. Of course. Ah, a c o u p a c h e c o Runda di hotonga kun hankabi. 
Quan ta kungjus tak miki grabul mogo kachichu ita bodunga tolbo chedo badwana ni dibobo tong nabungsha tong haitwang juji jung lumpa mita poe tikito tolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchu mujisha pasat Chikun ita hal donga mucho shak pa ka chedo badwana ni di bobo ta kun jus ta miki grabu chedo badu ah ronda di ho donga kun hanka chedo badwana ni di bobo ta kun jus ta miki ronda di ho donga kun ka chik ronda di ho Chikun ita hago mucho shot pa ka. Is there any other information? My preliminary enough. So, what do you want to know? Right. How can I be a further assistant? Of course. So, well, I was out hunting Eerie as south of here, and I saw one over by the bridge. The sun was pretty much right behind it, though, so I couldn't see it none too clearly. I shot, and when I came over here, I found Handon standing over the body, holding his side. There wasn't an eerie as in sight. I think he might have taken it. Calder must have been hunting it in... So... Right. Oh. Oh. Is there any other information? The Southwood Speeder rental business has records that over the past several weeks, a speeder had been rented by Mr. Nettick and Mr. Gould. Is there any other information you need? According to the municipal authorities in the Darren Sportsport, there have been news of violent drunken activity in a cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusoff was making accusations at a Mr. C. Nettick about cheap. Is there any? My preliminary is that. So, what do you. Now, I don't love Calder, but we go back a long way. We run a suborbital shipping and transport company out of Garang Spaceport. We've been partners in that business for well over 20 years. Right. How can I be of further assistance? But I, I realize this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you it isn't. I dislike Calder, true. I would punch his face in, given the opportunity, but I would not kill him. My wife was cheating on me with him. I slept in my own bed while I was in the next room. But, as much as I may hate it, it may have been my own fault for driving my I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. How can I... Um, well, you see, disreputable business practices, even more disreputable clients. Now, I bet certainly nothing that would make... Knock his block off, maybe, sure, but not kill him. You know, normally, I'm... I had had my suspicions for several weeks, but had no... Well, if you can't keep her, it's your own fault. But, as much as I may 
hate it. It may have been my own fault for driving. I was just out running, trying to clear my... Of course, of course. Mickey, grab a mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolga bank. Kachikun ita hodunga. Mucha shop. Is there any other information? We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample other than the fact it did not belong to Calder. Is there any other information you need? We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample, other than... Is there any other information? Th so, what do you... That blaster? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a preference for Ichani weaponry. He had this one really nice light blaster rifle. Always wished I could get myself a rifle. Ichanis make delicate weapons with too little firepower. Lightweight. That blaster ain't it, though. Calder only had the one rifle, too, so he either must have borrowed that, or it's... Right. How can I be a further assistant? That blaster was stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. Even an eerie has to take a man down if it gets in the mood. Every settler has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. How can I be a further assistant? Of course. How can I be a further assistance? Hunk his block off, maybe. You know, you know, I'd have well, but as much as I may, it may have. I was How can I? Of course. Is there any other information? I am sorry, but I seem to be failing you. I have searched and searched, but I cannot seem to come up with anything at all. I thought to find the record of the missing weapon report Mr. Gould filed with the authorities, but there does not seem to be one. Is there any other... According to the municipal authorities near the Garang spaceport, there have been news of violent drunken activity. Apparently, is there... These planes are right there, so is there... Very well. Yes, what's on your mind? Is there any other information? I have just received back an analysis of a sample of the blood found on the weapon. It had been sent back to the Emperor just before you arrived. The blood on the weapon is definitely not Calder's. Unfortunately, there was a bacterial contaminant in the sample that had been taken back to the laboratory, and it had become degraded. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample, other than the fact it did not belong to Calder. Is there any other information you need? Very well. So, what do you... Now, I don't love Calder, but we go back a long way. We've been partners in that bit. Right. How can I be a further... Knock his block off. You know, I had... Well, have you... But it may... I was just... Kun Hunkabi, Wanna Kun Bez, Ching Palamule, Tunking Bamu Bank, 
Tu pinche tu cune. Me dabes. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Chido baduana ni gibobo. Tom na buncha niña. Tom batu kashmak telea. Ta kunjus tachniki grabul moto. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolba bank. Wale o ganda na chuchut. Tole sha punga bola wana chike. Mules limo. Puta na na kunis. Mule rabes. Chido baduana ni gibobo. Tom na buncha niña. Tom batu kashmak. I can leave now, then. What? No! Tong abu sha bu ni no? Wong na kum nis keng bale bu ba? Chun yun tun ji ji ita tua ta? No. If I'm going, I'm not going alone. You don't know what you've done! Look, I came out here, I admit, to kill Calder. But so did Rickard. He must have thought it was Calder when he shot and hit me. So I'm going to prison, but I shouldn't be going alone. Did you idiots have to let the slime ball go? Yes, you tented. I came out here and killed Calder, but Rickard was here to do that too. He shot me. Mita poe tikito. Tolpa da bongualeo. Ka chikun ita hog. Achuta. Wonga kun bis tolpi kiku. Wife and children instead. Anything. <laughs> uh, wife and children. Sounds like a good idea.
Hi. Aren't you just a sweet little droid? Yes, you are. Oh, thank you, thank you. I don't know what I would have done if I had lost him. But it's just so great to have him back. We're just gonna go right home, right now, and celebrate. Aren't we my lovely little droid? Don't worry. I'm gonna hug you and oil you and care for you and make sure you never, ever get away again. your head to those of the other Jedi.
Oh, my God. 
I must give you my thanks. Because of you, I am once again welcome within the Jedi Order. I have spoken to the Council, and they have helped me see the truth. The truth about myself, and the truth of my actions. Quatra's injuries were not so severe as I first believed. I was foolish to believe I could harm a master such as she with my, my clumsy efforts. The fierce confrontation between us was nothing more than part of my training. Wanted me to understand the threat of the dark side, to see how easy it was to fall from the path of light. After our last battle, Quatra had nothing left to teach me. I needed time alone to explore the turmoil of my own spirit. Only then was I ready to follow a guide. You, back to the light. When I left, Quatra knew her work with me was done. There are other disciples who need training throughout the galaxy. 
as she could not stay to see if I passed this most difficult trial. With your help, I have passed this difficult trial. The Council now feels I am ready to continue with my training, though they have asked me to wait here for the time being. First the Jedi trick you into becoming an enemy, then they welcome you back as a friend. I, I can't say I approve of their training methods. Giving you a second chance like this is a clear sign of weakness. Sometimes I find it hard to believe the Jedi could defeat my people in battle. I do not know what the Council has in store for me, but I will trust in the Force and the way of the Jedi to help me through whatever is to come. You have done well, my pupil. The ancient grove has been purified, and Juhani's journey down the dark path has been halted. Because of you, she walks once more in the light. But though she was saved, do not dismiss what happened to her. Juhani is both dedicated and true to the ideals of the Order, yet she was still vulnerable to the dark side, as are we all. She struck her master in anger during her training and injured her greatly. But it was Quatra's choice to test Juhani this way, and it seems to have made its point. Juhani has been redeemed, and you have passed your final test. Congratulations, Apprentice. Or should I say, congratulations, Padawan. You have proven yourself worthy of joining the Jedi. Let me be the first to welcome you as a full-fledged member of our Order. <laughs>